Hello friends and family, my name is Daniel Burrell and welcome to Diary of a Manic. Today's topic uh, hits home a little for me. It's uh, PTSD and its effect on first responders. We're going to be talking about police, firefighters, and paramedics as they're all very important to us. I know all three and I wouldn't want this to happen to any of them. My best friend for probably 19 years is now a firefighter. My cousin is a paramedic, and her boyfriend is a police officer. And if this happened to any of them, it would break my heart. I've discussed PTSD in one of my other videos. It was it was a short uh, conversation, but even so, if you watched it, you know how terrible PTSD can be. Among people who have had a severe traumatic experience, 60 to 80 percent will develop PTSD. And first responders can experience traumatic events every single day. Professional firefighting is considered one of the most dangerous and stressful occupations. They attend not only to fire related situations, but are also trained emergency medical technicians, or EMTs. The, event, the events they witness on a daily basis would leave most normal people in shock. They witness car accidents that leave wives, widowed, or children without parents, and house fires where entire families are lost. This would leave practically anyone with some sort of emotional trauma. Paramedics and firefighters have a lot of the same issues that lead to PTSD. They come face to face with horrifying scenes and they have to repress their feelings to get the job done. They have to essentially make themselves robots so they don't get emotionally tied to the individuals they have to deal with at the scene. The repression of this, of their emotions itself, that's not good for them in the first place, let alone having to repress it so hard that it doesn't break your heart that you're seeing what you are. One of the things that strikes both firefighters and paramedics really hard is the fact that you can't save everyone. It's really hard to watch someone die and no amount of training can prepare you for that. For police officers, there are lots of things that go on in cities that nobody knows about. There are rapes, violent assaults, and other heinous crimes. These are things that police officers have to deal with every day. Oftentimes these cases have to do with children and teenagers as well. Whew, excuse me, sorry. <laughs> it wouldn't be easy to forget any of these situations. Police work... <clears throat> sorry. Police work means being confronted with situations that can cause significant emotional stress. Yet we don't hear a lot about police officers or any first responders suffering from PTSD. Media attention is more commonly directed at military personnel. I'm not saying that we should take the spotlight off of military personnel as far as PTSD goes, but we should shine a little bit of light on first responders as well. They mean a heck of a lot to us and they do so much for us that we take for granted every day. Toronto EMS is the only unit in Canada with an in-house psychologist, as far as my research shows at least. I couldn't find any others. The doctor says they monitor the paramedics for signs of mental distress and that she and a support team are available 24 hours a day. Most police forces and fire stations rely on a peer support gr group that are led by someone who has gone through the trauma as well. Groups often meet in person, though many groups have online support as well. Support groups have not been shown to reduce symptoms, but they can make you feel a lot better in other ways. They can give you a great sense of connection to other people, and sometimes that helps a lot. The best option for treating PTSD symptoms is counseling. There are many psychologists who specialize specifically in trauma. I'm going to leave a link in the description for Badge of Life. It's a website where you can go to look for counselors and other professionals. Oh, excuse me. Good Lord. I don't know why I'm yawning so much today. 
You can also look at other people's stories. Others also share poems and stuff you can read. <coughs> I'll also leave a link for the Canadian Service Dog Foundation. That's where you get a service dog to aid your PTSD. I've heard that it helps a lot. I would definitely recommend contributing to the CSDF. It's an amazing cause, and every penny counts. As I said before, this really hits home for me, because if, if any of my friends or family had to go through nightmares of PTSD, I would, I would be heartbroken. And that's, that's kind of why I'm making this video, just so more people will think about it. So I'm hoping that you share this video because this is a really important topic and it really means a lot to me specifically and it should mean a lot to you guys as well. Like, police officers, so many people hate police officers. They do a lot for our towns, cities, out in the country. They do so much for us. And firefighters and paramedics, like, holy crap, they do a lot for us. And they're, they're so looked over. Nobody, nobody really thinks about it unless they are specifically saved by a firefighter or paramedic. So please share this video. I hope you found it interesting. And, uh, yeah, like and subscribe my channel. Uh, leave, leave comments in the suggestion box. Or leave suggestions in the comment box on Facebook or YouTube. I always respond to my comments. So thank you very much for watching and have a great day guys.